you are struggling to find cash flow properties that fit your budget and you are in Maryland, I want to talk to you today because I am going to help you, right? I understand the troubles. I understand the squeeze that you're seeing in your market. I understand that finding properties that hit your cash flow goals are next to impossible this year. But don't worry. When everyone's zigging, you're going to zag and I'm going to help you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. James Wise. Today's show is for my guy Terry. Terry's from Stevensville, Maryland. And Terry's facing an issue that I think a lot of people out there are facing, right? Maryland's expensive compared to some other markets. Is the Stevensville area, is that whole like area the most expensive place in the United States? No, it's not LA or anything like that, but it's 2022, folks. We're dealing with the housing shortage, right? Coming out of COVID, builders weren't building because of all that jazz. That means there's less houses. Less houses mean more demand for current houses. Prices go up. Interest loans are super low. Prices go up. I mean, this is economics 101. Everybody but a liberal understands that. God damn, I can't stop. I told myself I was going to stop violently throwing jabs at the liberals during the show. I told myself I would stop, but I, I just, I just can't. I just, I just can't. I just can't do it. I just. I just, I can't do it. It's so freaking good. Anyway, Maryland, 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 Maryland. Not a liberal place at all. Oh, jeez, not a blue state at all. Here's the deal, though, right? If we can get past all that, you're like, yeah, that's because the guy's making sense, right? It's tough. It's tough to find housing that makes sense for uh, the real estate investor in that area, right? So, Terry, what you did is you hooked up with me because I help investors like you Find markets where the properties make sense from a financial standpoint. Find markets where they make sense from a landlord-tenant law, right? I mean, you go into a more red area, landlords typically have more uh, rights. You go into a super blue area, the government makes uh, being a landlord very, very tough, right? So political jokes and, and leanings aside, um, you know, you don't have to like all my politics or anything to... And I don't have to like all yours to uh, come to the agreement that, <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, sometimes they make our lives as landlords very, very hard, right? I mean, shit, what about all those folks over in New York who are dealing with rent control? I mean, come on. It's, it's very, very tough. I, th I don't think any landlords are out there like, dude, I love the government uh, coming in and arbitrarily telling me what I can do with my property, right? I don't think any American likes that. But it's okay. There are places where that stuff isn't happening, and I'm going to help you invest in it. Terry, what I got for you today is a duplex. Now, if you were financing it, you'd only need 27 grand into this deal. Now, I understand you're not going to probably finance it, and that's also why you come to me, right? You got like 100K in cash, and you're running into an issue getting loans, right? So that 100K in cash, where you're at, if you can't get a loan, you're really dead in the water. What can you really do? Probably not much. You come to this market, though, you could do a lot. Be able to have you buy the property cash for under 100, and then down the road, I'll go ahead and run the numbers via financing for you so you can see what it would look like if you are able to finance because you will be able to pull that money out down the road uh, when you get your lender situation and your credit situation all fixed up, right? So without further ado, brother, let's check out the numbers on this deal that I think you're going to love. Oh, and P.S., yeah, it's got that naval base we talked about coming to town. Yeah, more on that later. Go! <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers, right? This is what we do, folks. Provide you the turnkey service in an aligned way, right? This deal, 411 9th Street, Elyria, 44035. Just hit the market four days ago, and it's priced at 93 and a half. But I don't want you to pay 93 and a half. That's why we're different, right? I work for you. If I'm a traditional turnkey provider... The price is 93.5. Why would I be like, hey, bro, how about you just pay 90? Why would I say that? Why would I just give you 3,500? I wouldn't, right? I'm trying to get every dollar out of the deal I can. 
Not that that makes me a bad person. It doesn't. That's just life, right? If you're selling something and somebody's willing to pay you 10, you're not going to be like, no, nah, bro, give me seven. It doesn't make sense. You're not giving away money, right? This is business, okay? That's why what we do is different, though. The seller, they're going to try to get all their money. Me, I'm going to try to get you as much money as possible because I work for you. And then I'll couple that with the turnkey services on the ground. Because obviously you don't live in Elyria, Ohio, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio, right? But it's one of the best cash flow markets. That's why out-of-state investors are going here. So you need representation on the ground, me, and you're going to get that. But you don't have to get it by paying a turnkey premium. This one, I don't want you paying 93 and a half. I believe I can work that seller down a little bit. I think I can pick it up for you at 88. And then we're going to put 5K into it, making our all-in investment 93. Because that's the thing. It's not pure turnkey, folks. You're just buying from regular people. So what we have here is a property that's vacant. Now, you see a little bit of stuff left in the property, all right? You see a little bit of stuff left over from the previous, I think it was like owner lived in one unit, tenant lived in the other. So it's not 100% turnkey. So I wrote in there about 5K. It looks nice, right? It looks decent. But if you look closer, right, like these pictures, they look fine. But if you look closer right here, you're missing an outlet cover. You got a bunch of big dings in the paint there, right? So when you actually go inside of this and tour it, and your tenants are touring it, it's not rent ready, right? There's things that need to happen, okay? Like right here, look, you can barely see it, but there's a hole in the wall here, right? So I don't even know if 5K, it could go up to 10K maybe. We actually would have to get our team in there to do uh, a renovation, full-on renovation bid. It's not a lot, but I'm just saying we need to look at it a little closer, right? It's probably just going to be cleaning and painting maybe replacing a little bit of carpet. So it's nothing major. It's just super cosmetic minor stuff. But that's the difference when you're going turnkey versus off the open market, right? They're not perfectly show ready, but these are damn close, right? So that's why I give you guys uh, <clears throat> the upfront info. And what I love to see, though, things that actually really matter, a little bit of paint here and there, that don't mean nothing, folks. But this, this is your big ticket stuff, all right? Now, those furnaces, they cost about 3500 bucks a pop right now, right? That's about seven grand worth of furnaces. You got to spend that every 30 years. Well, those suckers, those are brand friggin' new. Now, it could be six months old, could be a year old, could be two years old, but they're pretty darn new, I could tell. Now, hot water tanks, they're about 1200 right now. They last about 15 years. Also look to be pretty darn new. That's your big ticket items. When you hear people say the house has good bones, that's what they mean, folks. Then you got a big old garage outside. Tenants are going to love that. All right? So, 93 and a half. Again, I work for you, so I'm going to try to work that down. I believe what's competitive, what we can take it down for. 88, you put in 5, 93. Then we're going to go ahead and rent the units for 675 and 750, bringing in 14 and a quarter. That's 17,100 for the year, but that's not all profit, folks. This is real estate. There are costs. There's costs to have my property run this. There's costs with taxes, insurance. There's costs with uh, replacing things. The furnaces and the hot water tanks I told you about, look at this right here. Capital expenditures, 855. You're going to keep that money. But I do not have it listed on this chart as your profit, okay? That money goes in your pocket. But one day, that's why this is such a good deal. It's probably going to be like 25 years from now. I'll be like, yo, bro, I need $3,500 from you, right? That's what you're saving that eight fifty five for. I'm not having you think that that is profit because one day that furnace is going to go. And then the other furnace is going to, you know what I'm saying? That's why the fact that these are new is really good. But you got to understand, eventually you'll pay for these things. So your average, your true average NOI should be around uh, 8700 Now, with the all-in investment of 93 k which is our down payment, 22 and a half, and 5 k of upfront repairs, means we only have $27,000 into the deal, right? $88,000, your down payment on your... Uh, Mortgage, you're, you're going to buy it at 88, right? Your down payment's going to be 22. The bank's going to loan you 66, plus you got to kick in another five, right? That means you're all in 27 grand. You're looking at around a 20% cash on cash return. $27,000. And as far as the neighborhood goes, we're in the Cleveland market, one of the best housing markets for cash flow investors, number one. Number two, I love the city of Lorraine. It is a very solid, stable neighborhood. Uh, I'm sorry, I love the city. Uh, the city of Elyria, which is in Lorraine County. Very solid neighborhood in Lorraine County. And I think the reason I had Lorraine County on my brain is because here at Holton Wise, we are going heavy into Lorraine County, right? People talk about cash flow markets versus appreciation markets, okay? People talk about that. But guess what, folks? Guess what? Sometimes you can have your cake and eat it too. Lorraine County is getting too 
brand new uh, like naval shipyard things. Uh, it's going to be a very big project, and it's projected to bring about 4,000 jobs to the area. That is big. Am I telling you that's going to double the price of your property in five years? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am telling you is people that talk about appreciation, they're usually just speculating. I don't like to just blindly speculate, but I'm a smart guy. I could look at something and go, okay, we got this city and this little area right here. And they're about to get a huge investment and 4,000 new jobs coming to the area. Yeah, things are going to go better in that area. Prices will eventually go up, right? So it's got great cash flow. It's got good prospects. I really dig Lorain County and the city of Illyria. Solid C-class neighborhood. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.